Oh boy. Okay. We're back again. Keegan here doing some more smoke fire experiments and um, came, came across a new issue. So I just wanted to share this as quick as possible because uh, I don't even know how this happened. To be honest. It's like some of the other things that have happened. I don't know how this, I say, I think I've said that more than once now. I don't know how this could happen to be honest, but um, the new issue I've had is sort of some voids above in the pellet box. Uh, somehow pellets got, I mean, there's a lot of pellets in this in this fire pit. I think it smothered the flame and just killed it when I was getting ready to do some uh, some half chickens. I was hoping to smoke some half chickens this afternoon. Uh, I'm gonna try again. Maybe I'll get a video out for some half chickens, but yet to be seen. Um, let me show you what I got here. And uh, it's pretty crazy. Okay, so this is the situation right here. And uh, I mean, that's a ton of pellets. And this thing was probably running like 15 minutes or so. Um, so I don't know if the software on my version is just totally effed and everything's just kind of running wrong in general, causing some of these issues, whether it be void space in the hopper, you know, taking pellets at an un unusual rate of speed. Um, but it's crazy. Um, that's a ton of pellets. And uh, first time I've seen this with these experiments I've been running, but I'm gonna keep playing with it. Um, at this point, I kind of want to give this thing back. I don't know if that's going to happen. I've inquired about it amongst the other issues. So we'll see what happens. I just want to get this video out here because <laughs> it's, I'm laughing because it just seems, it's crazy. It's just, it's crazy at this point. I don't even know what to say. So yeah, um, that's what I found today. I'm still going to try these half chickens. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Hopefully I have another video to show just how this thing works in general when it's functioning properly. That's what I'm trying to demonstrate is like, hey, this is what it looks like when it's functioning properly, but what do you have to do in order to make that happen and how difficult is it? I uh, really, at this point, I'm really trying to demonstrate to Weber um, the areas of their ways, you know, whether I keep this grill or not, whether I'm forced to, or they take it back. At this point, I'm really just trying to create documentation for everybody out here who owns this grill, or who may want to own it, um, and really what, what the problems are so they can fix them, whether it's, you know, the next version or if they do some recalls. Hopefully, I think they need to do some recalls. Um, on the, on the pellet issue for sure. Um, and then I'll have my some thoughts put together by the end of the week of just general design considerations that they should do but or think about. And I'm sure they're already thinking about them, but it's a little crazy. So um, try to put out some more videos when it's working. You know, Weber, I hope you're listening. I still love all your other grills, so I'm hoping you do the right thing here. I think you will. But uh, that's what I found today. See you next time.